Welcome to the Once in a Lifetime series. In this video, we're going to explore from Brookings, Oregon, clear up past Coos Bay. This is one epic trip. This is one of my most memorable trips. This is previously shot footage, plus I'm adding a bunch of new unseen footage never seen before. This trip along the Pacific Coast is once in a lifetime for sure. I will never forget this. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. And the journey starts right now. All right, this is Highway 101 North. Right there on the left, that's a California inspection station to come into the state. But we are leaving. We're getting into Oregon. I'd say within a quarter mile here. We ought to see the state line signs. Yep, here they are coming up. Get ready. You are now officially in Oregon. This is Brookings, Oregon. A little foggy, but it lifts quick fog rolls in and out. We're heading up to Harris Beach. Well, I guess this is downtown Brookings here. Old buildings. Don't they all look the same, all these coastal towns? It's all single story flat, flat top buildings. And they got banks and shops. Redwood something there. Restaurants. Nice. But I'm going to head up to that campground before it gets too late. Before they fill up. Hope I can get a spot. That guy back at that visitor center highly recommended it. Again, it's such a beautiful place, this coast here. I remember uh, three years ago, I really enjoyed it. But I wasn't able to stop that much. This time we will, going up. The camera's not picking up quite a few RV parks and trailer parks right through there. Alright, right up here on the left. I see ocean. It's called Harris State Beach Campground in Oregon. Let's see if I can't get a site for a couple nights. They got dry camping and also hookups. I don't need hookups, it's dry camping. Here it is, make a left. So the RV there yet, summer travels continue. Now we're in Oregon, at the very beginning of it. Got a long ways to go yet. Okay, let's pull down into Harris State Beach Campground. Wow, what a view. Look at the rocks, the ocean, and blue sky. All right, there's the campground off to the right, ocean to the left. I see little patches of blue sky. We'll have blue sky here before we know it. So I'm going to go ahead and get checked in, find a good camp area, get set up. Then we'll go explore this beautiful Harris Beach State Park. How we doing? Good, how are you? Good, what can I do for you? get a campsite absolutely well here we go fog lifted blue sky sunshine coming out we're here at Harris State Beach it's a state park right here out just outside of just north of Brookings Oregon we say let's go for a little walk Okay, this is directly across from the campground. I 
That's the ocean, too. <laughs> All right. Anyway, he said, take the path, go down the hillside, and then you end up down the beach. So let's go take the path. The ranger said it's great for photography, video. All right. It says Marine Gardens. Cool. This should be interesting. Th but this whole park, I've never stayed in one this nice. And it's not expensive. At all. And they are sold out. I could only get two nights. I'd stay here a week if I had a choice. My goodness, this is great. This is one to come back to. If you're ever in the area, book a site here. Walk slow, I'm old. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, here you go. Wow. Look at that. There's your view. Who needs a drone with that? My goodness. Look at that. That is like a postcard. Holy moly. Huh. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, let's go down this little path here. asphalt on it. They must have hand carried it down here. Look at this. Switchbacks on a walking path that's paved. Hear the roar of the water. Goodness. Crashing on them big old rocks. It's always easier going down, isn't it? Look, they got wood shoring up the bank here. This place been here a long time. Trying to keep my balance here. They got stone steps. Look at that place in there. Not very even. Look at the color on the rock. Look at that. Just hundreds, thousands of years of that salt spray hitting. say we're kind of near low tide. Huh. But the water sprays up on these rocks when it's high tide. Just picture. Perfect. Just everywhere you look here is a photographer's dream. <laughs> and a video dream, too. The way the light hits the rocks, different times of year, you could just get a million pictures. Sunsets, the vegetation growing. Look at these pathways. They're like Mother Nature artwork carved right in here. But there's a ton of people that come down through here. All right, got to find my way down to the bottom here.
Okay, made it almost. Climb over this stuff. All kinds of driftwood, rocks. Oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, not bad for an old man. <laughs> Look at the color underneath that rock of the, with the erosion up from the water. That is like a gemstone. Yay! I can walk. Here we go. Alright. Here is your ocean at Paris State Beach. Yeah. Look at the happy face someone did in the sand. That's something. Okay, I'll be quiet. Just soak it in. That's all you get. <laughs> what a pretty place. You can RV, hike down here. You can also drive down. There's a big parking lot. Don't have to hike it. But you can pick up seashells, take a picture, bring a picnic down here. Whatever you want. You know, the sand's hard, too. It's not real fluffy. Kind of easy to walk here. Those rocks could talk, huh? Amazing. Isn't this perfect? <laughs> and we've only begun. We're going to go all the way up the Oregon coast. This is only the first day of it. Oh, could you live here, except in the winter? Lots of driftwood. People set up little tents for a windbreak. Because the wind is constant. I think he, the hours down here are like 7 a.m. to 9 p.m., something like that. Okay. Family down there having a good time. Little kids are excited, all running around. <laughs> and they got little picnic areas up here, too. Table set up. All right, let's go up parking lot. Here's our day use lot. Park down here, walk right down to the water. to lock up your bicycle. Look at that path going up that rock there. We gotta try that too. Picnic tables. Hey. 
Okay, made it up to the top. Wow. It don't matter where you're at here, you got a view. Well, we'll head up to the campground. I'll walk around, show that a little bit. All right, that took a while. <laughs> I stopped once. There's where we started. That's the beginning of the pathway. There's the day use area. Now we're going to walk up to the campground. This is where I pulled in earlier. 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Well worth it, my goodness. People who live around here, they are lucky to have this place. I'd be out here a lot. Imagine a picture taken of sunsets with the rocks. <laughs> Okay, here's the campground. And each campground, they got the hedges. You're kind of private, even though that's a campground. Some have hookups, dry camping, full hookups. There's showers and restrooms that are super clean and super nice. Buy firewood. I don't. I didn't see a little store or propane or anything. So, probably got to go to town for any of that stuff. But Brookings is only a couple miles away. It's not very far. Cell service here is great. Getting like four bars on the cell phone. So, got good Wi-Fi with the jet packs. Everything's good. Alright, here's my street. B Street. I'm in B47. Head up here. Right up here on the left there's a uh, little path. Showers and restrooms. There's several buildings all over here that are really close. I mean, you're right there. Works out well. Right here. Showers and restrooms. Right there. Nice, huh? Good morning. I am leaving Harris Beach State Park. What a great stay. Beautiful place. But look at the fog. <laughs> but it's early morning. But time to leave. Time to head up the road. Alright, we're going to get up here and head north on 101. This is actually called Samuel Boardman Scenic Trail. And we got some fog, but hopefully it'll lift. Make a left up here, and let's get this show on the road, huh? Okay, there's a sign up back there. It said Lone Ranch Viewpoint. I know it's foggy. Let's go check the ocean. Okay, here we are, Lone Ranch. There's a day use area, I guess. Couple people waiting to surf, it looks like. Hey, ocean, Zen time. <laughs> I know the glare on the camera's not picking it up. I can see blue sky directly above me. This fog is really a low liar, low lying or whatever. Hike down here. Get a little o ocean noise going. <laughs> the only way to start your morning. Looks like low tide. Water's down. 
You can see it on the rocks how far it comes up. Alright, enjoy. Today I'm gonna go up to a, a state park called Humbug. That's the goal to get to today. But let's see what we can find along the way here. At only a couple miles, we got blue sky. Look, check it out. I knew we'd get above it. What a pretty area. I've seen this on Google Maps, but huh, it's under construction. I'm going to pull in this pull-off here to the left. This is called Thomas Creek Bridge. It's got a ton of history. It's the highest bridge in Oregon. But check out this. Look at the ocean. Look how pretty. Now you could make a postcard picture out of that one, huh? Look at that. Beautiful. There's the bridge. That's the Thomas Creek Bridge. 300 and some feet tall. Tallest one in Oregon. Span Bridge. One more look at the bridge. I only got one lane open on it. We're going to cross it here in a minute. The traffic light set up here. They've been working on this, I guess, for a long time. I have no clue what they're doing. Probably seismic or whatever. Hey, if you're scared of heights, don't look down. We are going to be 340 some feet above that gorge. <laughs> How'd you like to have a job working on this thing, huh? My goodness. Hanging over the edge. No thanks. Huh, wonder what they're doing. Must be reinforcing something. Well, cool. We made it. That was the Thomas Creek Bridge, Oregon. Historic. Tallest one around. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Well, that fog's up there, but we're above it. Okay, on Google Maps it shows Arches Rock. Arch arch rock, something like that. We'll go find it. Okay, I drove past a few other lookouts. But on Google Maps, it, this thing has a high rating. Should be right. Here it is. Right here. Arch rock. Picnic area. Cool. Look at the blue sky, yay. It's kind of a big deal and it's fairly early in the morning. No fog, better video, yay. 
All right, let me get part. We'll see what this one looks like. Oh boy. <laughs> Check it out. Oh yeah. View time. I'll be back. I'll look at this. Oregon has it made. My goodness, I want to move here. Look at that. Look at all the rock formations in the water. This whole coastal drive area is so well laid out. What's this say here? Seabird Refuge. You see a bunch of those signs around. Follow the path. It's all fenced. Picnic tables. Look at this. Wow. Long ways from the desert here. There's another picnic table. Well, let's wander over here. This must be the viewpoint. It is just plush here. Look at this. Greenery everywhere. <laughs> okay. Goodness gravy. Mm -mm -mm. Bet you can well watch here. I bet you can see whales. I think I brought a set of binoculars in the vein. There's a good look how the coast looks. So we're a good two, three hundred feet up off the ocean. Nice. Alright, let's wander over to the other side. There's like a little peninsula here. Look at the pa paved pathways. Oh cool, look at the flower. Look at that. Like a light blue, huh? Isn't that gorgeous? Yes. We're on the ocean. I mean, you can bring your pets, picnic, anything here. There is no bad view here. Look at this. You know, Oregon, uh, I know they charge a little bit to get in some of this stuff. But they really keep it well. Oh, there's the arch rock. There's the arch. See what this storyboard says. Arch rivals on a rock. <laughs> Some happy birds here. There it is. There's arch rock. Thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of years, huh? Wow. See some birds down there. Those birds are saying, look up there, there's a human watching us. <laughs> Isn't this pretty? No fog. Fog finally lifted. Perfect. You can sit here and just chill out with that view all day long if you wanted, probably. Definitely bird watching, trees growing out of the top of rocks. <laughs> wow. Perfect. Very pretty. If you're driving this road, definitely stop here. That parking lot was easy, big enough to park a big rig.
That cliff is straight down too. I don't see any big old ships out there. This rocks. They probably don't want to come in here. Look at all the rocks. There's a look up the coast. That's straight up the Oregon coast right there. How pretty. I would most definitely come back here again. Spend some time. Bring a little lunch or whatever. You betcha. Hey, check out this. This washed out completely. The whole hillside took the road out. Closed the 101. Good morning. This is temporary. And the ground keeps moving. They keep fixing the pavement, the asphalt. I was told it was going to be closed two years, but they had it open in two weeks. So check it out. But the ground's still moving. That was quite a quite a lot of rain that uh, made the ground loose, but it's all good now. Still heading up 101. What a pretty day this is turning out to be. We just looked at that arch rock viewpoint. Wasn't that beautiful? Just gorgeous there. Well, let's stop up here. I see a little pull out. We'll check it out. This looks good right here with the bus. People probably down there fishing. Just walking the beach. Look for seashells. Beautiful, beautiful area. Oregon coast, it just keeps giving and giving and giving. A little bit of fog. See the mountain straight ahead? That's it. And out to sea a little bit. All right, let me get parked. We'll walk around a sec. That wind is cooking. But look at the view, who cares? <laughs> look at that. Yeah. Can't beat that view. Pretty flowers, yellow, they're in bloom. Of course, they get watered year round, huh? Alrighty, we're all regrouped, fresh batteries. I'll check some emails. Good uh, cell reception out here, even though we're along the coast. They must have towers along through here. Anyway, that's why I like to travel. I like to travel early, go two, three hours, stop for a bit, and then get back at it. Normally, earlier the better. Keep on filming. Alrighty, we are on 101 North. Alright, we're getting close to town here. Still see the ocean off to the left. Looks like they've done some, uh, cleared some trees in here. Probably to keep them off the power lines, I bet. Because the Pacific storms, they come screaming in here in the winter time. They can see snow here, too. We're up far enough in Oregon. That's just, the ocean will protect you a little bit. But, all right, here we are. We made it to Gold Beach. That house there on the right, they got a good view. All right, well drive through town, see what's up. There's some motels on this end. 
I'm sure there's RV parks and camping. Almost all these places have it. Right there, RV park. Right there on the left. I'll be darned. <laughs> yeah, looks like well, it looks like a decent sized town. Gold Beach Inn. Gas station. What's that one? Pacific Reef. Because tourism, I mean, it's huge. 101 can get pretty congested. It's a heavily, heavily traveled road, but it's about the only road that goes up through here, too. Because you got the mountains. Alrighty, looks like we're getting through town here. I know there's a bridge. I remember that from three years ago. There's a beautiful bridge up here that we're going to cross. Once again, we're gonna. The goal today is get up that Humbug State Park. That's where we're gonna spend the night. But I want to film up around this bridge. It should just be right up the road here. Looks like some government offices there. Look how fancy the buildings are painted. There's the Oregon Trail Lodge. Yep, there's the bridge. All right. Right, there's like a museum down here. I remember driving past it the last time. I want to stop. Jerry's Road Jet Boats. You can take jet boat rides here. But I see an old wreck right down here and some public parking. Let's check it out. See it on the right? Look at that old thing. Definitely got to see that. All right. Okay, here you go. History about the bridge. Patterson Bridge. Huh. Talks about when it was built. Boy, everything goes back a long ways, doesn't it? Cool. Nineteen thirty two, my goodness. Uh check out the boat. Look at that thing. Did I tell you I bought a boat? that thing. My goodness. There's grass growing in it. Alright. For sale. Here you go. Fixer upper. Comes with a lawn. <laughs> Permanent aquarium. My goodness. There's a marina. Cool little place. Now this is on the river. The ocean's straight ahead. Nice. I didn't know this was here. There's the boat. SSRV or TV. Wonder how long. Ah, I think one of these signs talk about it. Okay. There it is. There's the boat. 1891. Wow. Holy moly. Port of Gold Beach. Too cool. Bet that thing's not been in the water for, <laughs> well, 100 years. I'll be darned. Wow, it's National Register of Hi Historic Places. Huh. You've seen history here in Gold Beach, Oregon. Let's drive back by the jetty. We'll take a quick look at the ocean. 
while we're here. Well, looks like a marina, little shops. Bait and tackle. Food, there's a cafe. Bet there's an RV park or something out here too. Well, what do you say? Let's drive on out. Ah, there's a RV park right there on the left where that flag is. Ocean something, RV park. There's the jetty. Look at this guy. Just enjoying the view. That's probably free parking there. Okay, I'm going to pull up here a little bit and we'll walk up the jetty a little bit and take, take a look at the ocean while we're here. Talk about some driftwood. Wind blowing, all the logging around Oregon, floating down rivers. Wow, there's a few bonfires. Still nice here though. Alright, let's head to the van. It's interesting, I've never seen that much driftwood before. I guess normally people pick it up and burn it. See off to the right, right there, is, there's an RV park. The band of wind. That would be non-stop wind there. Probably okay for a night. I don't know if I'd want to be there much longer. Yeah, little restaurants all over. Probably good seafood here, I bet. All right, let's go across the Patterson Bridge. Go check it out. I'd say 1930s this thing was built. I do remember crossing this three years ago coming down. I didn't stop at all. Old pillars. Main transportation route. For a lot of decades. Probably all them logs, all the driftwood floated down the river here from all the logging. Pretty good shape though. You know, the, all the roads have been in good shape so far. Well, I just spotted, I can see RVs right down on the right-hand side, right below the bridge. I bet it's an RV park. I'm going to pull down in there real quick and check it. I bet anything that's an RV park. fishing, RV park, there you go. They got hookups. Huh. I'm not gonna stop. Right there. Straight ahead, that grassy area. There's hookups there. And look at your view. Wow. Look, they got a little food thing there, too. Food trailer. Huh. How cool is that? Gold Beach, Oregon. Who'd know? Small town USA, huh? You gotta stop and check this stuff out. You never know until you do. Look at that bridge, huh? Wow. Now that's a picture. 
There's that RV park straight down there, that grass area. On the phone, on the maps, it says Rogue River, Gold Beach, Oregon. And over there where that red roof is, that's a marina. There's a jetty we were out on. A couple big hotels, motels down there. And there's 101. That's the direction we're going to go. Man, beautiful Oregon pines, big tall trees. I don't know, in the winter it'd be pretty cold. They do get winter here. But my goodness, check it out. Visit Oregon, drive the coast. There you go, small town USA, Gold Beach, Oregon, US 101. Pacific Ocean and a river. Not bad, huh? Heading up 101 North. Gonna go up here to Humbug State Park. Gonna camp out for the night. Check it out. There's the ocean right on the left. Ah. I got the window crack, but really chilly air. <laughs> I, I know it's getting warm rest of the country, but it is just. Here it is right up here. Campground's only about another five miles up the road. Stop here for a minute. Check it out. This is Ophir, O-P-H-I-R, I think it was on Google Maps. All the trucks. Must be a lot of people fishing. I'm not sure what they fish for. I know they use huge weights because of the current uh, waves coming in. There's a couple guys sitting there. Some restrooms if you need it. I wonder if this is a county thing. I don't know. Picnic tables. Deep blue colored water, the white caps. Against this old brown sand, doesn't that pop? It really stands out. all kinds of people down here fishing. They're quite a ways up up and down along the beach here. So good to be out here along Highway 101. The mighty Pacific Ocean. When you live inland you don't re remember or think about this stuff until you actually get out here and see it. For more information on my travels, be sure to check out my website, rvertv.tv. Make sure you sign up for the free newsletter, download, screen savers, they're all free. We also have activity books, puzzle books, jigsaw puzzles, you name it. All kinds of merch <laughs> help support the channel and future travels of RVRTV. Okay, gonna make a 
left. This will be 101 North. That sign straight across says Gold Beach 9, Port Orford 16. There's a sign coming up. Humbug Mountain Day Use. Nope, we're looking for campground. Should be about another quarter mile up on the right. Man, look at the steepness of this mountain. And the ocean is straight out. Cool. <laughs> Here it is. Yay. Humbug Mountain Campground. We made it. State Park. all self-serve all you do is park fill out a ticket throw it in a box and you're done put the receipt in the windshield okay I'm gonna get parked and we'll go walk around okay everything's blacktop you park on pavement there's actually hookups on some of these and non hookups. Very nice. I got a non hookup. I'm dry camping. Don't need power, I got solar. It's nice to have electric though once in a while. Big old fifth wheel there, that's a camp hose. Right up here on the right there's a covered bridge, wooden bridge. And a sign, I think it goes over to the other side of the highway. There's uh, hiking trails here. Day, whatever. Okay, here's the little bridge I seen. And you go across, and that's hiking trails. Yep. There's a culvert pipe. Looks like you walk underneath the highway here. <laughs> oh, we gotta do this. creek bed flow in there. Wish I had my gold pan. Check this out. <laughs> well, that was weird. <laughs> wow, look at the trail. Check it out. You can hike all through here. If you're a hiker, what's that sign say? Three miles. No way. You can go up to the top three miles. Oh my god. Wonder if they got a motorized lift <laughs> in the oxygen bottle. Here's a day use parking area. Campgrounds across the road right there. Well, isn't this cool? Camp, walk underneath the road, go hiking, crawl back. <laughs> All right, I'm heading back.
Oh, what a cute little stream. Look at that flowing. Well, what a pristine campground this is. Absolutely beautiful. All right, well, we still got some daylight left. Uh, let's hike over the ocean. Check her out. And they got a little visitor information booth, pamphlets. I'm telling you, state of Oregon, they know how to run a state park system. Goodness, this is nice. Hot showers and restrooms, everything. The rate here is $17 to camp overnight. You get showers, restrooms, everything else, trash. They have water uh, around the campsites. Alright, I grabbed some fresh batteries. Let's head on over to the ocean. You can really feel the wind coming up through underneath that bridge. It's a highway bridge. Like a funnel. It is just screaming up through here. Feels good. Even with the wind, I can hear the ocean, the roar of the ocean a little bit. <laughs> this is so cool. There's the 101 bridge. Tomorrow we'll be traveling on that to the right. To the right's north, to the left to be south. Hike up here people coming. Hi, how are you guys? Hello. This sand's hard to walk in a little bit, carrying all this camera stuff. Boy, that's an old concrete span bridge, huh? That's seen its day. Bet that this creek gets up there too flooding. Humbug Mountain. There's everything you're not supposed to do. We'll fly that. Look at all the birds. Can you hear them? Birds chirping. They got nest built up there. Well, there it is. There's the Pacific Ocean at Humbug Mountain State Park. Nice. There's that little creek draining straight in the ocean. Isn't this pristine? Absolutely nice. Winds really scream right through here. Kind of like a funnel. That's okay. Listen to the water roar. heading back. Yeah, them birds are everywhere. Hear the cars going over top. So you can hike out to the ocean like we just did here. Go over the mountain. There's hiking trails everywhere. Probably mountain biking. Surfing even. Okay, at this big open area, sites are far apart, perfect. There's your Kodak moment. Bridge, ocean, mountain. You can see how big the sites are. What an incredible day. Everything we've gotten to see.
and tomorrow we start all over What a great night here at Humbug Mountain State Park. Highly recommended. What a great place. Especially if you're into hiking. You can go all the way up that mountain there. And over to the ocean. Perfect. It's time to get on up the road. We're going to go up and explore Port Orford. Okay, this is 101. We're going to head north. Check it out. We're going to go across that bridge we walked under yesterday. Should be right around the corner here. That was cool. I mean, I've never seen nothing like that. Where you went from forest straight to the ocean this canyon here one thing though the winds really screamed up through here but they died down last night thank goodness uh, there's that day use uh, parking lot there's the sign we just drove over the tunnel <laughs> too cool that was that corrugated tunnel that was weird going through that too all right here we go here's the bridge We were under this thing yesterday. Too cool. Alright, we're only a few miles. I think it's only like six, seven miles into Port Orford. Shouldn't be too far. Look at the view. There's a pull off up here. I'm going to stop. We'll get a few pictures. Sun just coming up over the mountain. It's still early. No fog. That's amazing. Now this looks like good as any. I can see the town straight off there. What a view. Yeah, that's town way out there. My goodness. The sun just coming up. Look at the fog bank straight on out. Winds are starting to crank up a little bit. Pretty view. Not bad. There's 101. Still a little dark probably to see it. This Oregon coast is just phenomenal. I mean, beautiful. Look at them rocks out there. See the sun hitting them? That's the morning sun hitting it. They really stand out with that light. That was a cool look. Almost need a little better light. Need the sun come up. It's now it's really starting to come up, but I can really see the trees blowing. <laughs> Those winds back at that Humbug Park yesterday were really gusting hard. Of course, it's the ocean. All right, this is the big town of Port Orford. I drove through here three years ago. I forget. I I don't think I really stopped, checked it out much. Just kind of drove through. 
There's a motel on the right. Aha, uh -huh, a little park on the left. We'll check that out first. It says visitor center. I'm sure they're closed. But look at that. They got parking. Pretty good places for RVs. You can easily park here in an RV. Go visitor center. All right, let's go walk around a minute. The wind's blowing here. Whoa, wee, it's chilly, cold. All right, let's go for a walk. Oh, check out the whale in the brick. That's cool. There's our visitor center. Nothing's open. It's early. Barely 7 o'clock. Man, that wind is cold. They got storyboards showing parks, habitat, and some of the same ones you see at the other ones. Shows marine life, geology, life on the rocks, underwater journey. Too cool. Here's a few more. Well, very nicely done. All right, let's go check out the view here. What a cool little park. bench but that's been there a while look at that thing and there's your view there's Port Orford their little park I heard there's like uh, a lot of artists here got to be a retirement community there can't be much work there's our view no fog either isn't that nice you can see a fog bank right there but not out over the water. <laughs> Too windy. Well, that wind is kind of chilly. Let's head up towards the van. Um, let's drive over by the fishing pier. That big, uh, where you see all the fishing boats. Sorry, I had to get out of that wind. I was freezing. <laughs> we kind of had to hurry through there. Funny. I got the heater on. <laughs> this town's not very big at all. I just Google mapped it. We're only like a block and a half away. <laughs> Alright, let's go check it out. See a lot of for sale signs. There's a motel. Okay, here's a parking area. It says overnight, ten bucks. There's a van. Huh. You can stay here for ten dollars. The sign said pay the port. So this must be owned by the port. There's your view. I'm not going to get out here. Let's drive down to the port. I'm still cold. <laughs> Ten bucks, it'd be worth to stay there. Why not? What a view. the old buildings there. Looks like a motel up there. Alright, let's go check it out. All 
Alrighty, sign says visitor parking. Ah, I see a memorial on the left. We'll check that out on the way out. Look at the old boats. Look at them old tanks, man. Ooh. There are some rust buckets down here. <laughs> Looks like you can drive. Probably park down here. Ah, I see a little restaurant straight ahead. Bet they got some good seafood, huh? They lift boats in and out. There's no dock here. You gotta lift them in and out with that big crane set up. All these boats are sitting up on like uh, dollies with wheels on them. They're big fishing boats. Look at them. See the crane right there? Lifts them in and out. So, well, cool. Well, let's go check out that memorial, and then if I can get down to the beach, I'll walk down there and get your zen moment. <laughs> yeah, they even got restrooms right there on the right. You can just smell the salty, fishy air here, too. Very powerful. Okay, go up and get parked. change jackets. Okay, we'll just say lost at sea. Wow. The last date, 2012 on here. Huh. That's powerful. I bet you could. Storms could really blow through here. A little bench, a little memorial. Alright, let's walk down to the water. There's some old boats, but they've been sitting there a year or three. All right, there's the dock. Look at that crane. Look how big that thing is. Looks like there's a boat waiting to get picked up. That's a big boat. <laughs> All the driftwood. What a peaceful place. Winds really picked up. And it's cold. Not used to this. I'm used to the desert. <laughs> nice and green here. Makes you wonder all the boats that have come in and out of here over the years. Oh my goodness. Way back when they had the old sailboats and schooners. Fishing boats. I doubt if it's too many big like commercial boats. Mainly fishing, I bet. I'm glad I stopped here. Port Orford. What a treat. What an old, old place. My goodness. I bet this goes back eons this place here 
If them old boats could talk, huh? I bet they got some stories. You never know what you're gonna see. This is small town USA, back road USA. That's this is what I look for. On RV or TV. Glad you're tuning in. Alright, get back on 101 North. We're going to keep trucking. Go find that state park. At a grocery store, a few gas stations, a few restaurants, a couple motels, probably more than that, and some RV parks. Check out Port Orford if you get down this way. Be well worth it, I'm sure. And look at the fog rolling in here just north as we're going north of town. I'd say we got real lucky having sun back there. But that wind was so cold. <laughs> I got the heater on high. Alright, we're going to keep rolling right up 101. Be sure to check out my uh, website. RVRTV.TV Sign up for that newsletter. Okay, let's keep trucking. We just left Port Orford. Wasn't that a cool place? All them old fishing boats. Pretty active uh, pier there too. I thought it was cool. making a left here. This is Cape Blanco Lighthouse and Campground. It's supposed to have an active lighthouse going. Been around forever. Let's go check it out. And after a few miles, no fog. Amazing. Here's the sign for Cape Blanco. I would say Blanco. B L B L A N C O. Blanco. Cape Blanco. There's a motorhome leaving. There's a campground. I'm gonna spend the night. There's a place called Hughes House. It's supposed to be historic. And then the lighthouse and see what else we can get into. Sign says Hughes House, next right. Thank you. Wow, rough road. Looks like this washed out, I bet. go. I see the house off to the left. Looks like there's a river here. Dumping out into the ocean. Cool. Up a little bit about this online. It's supposed to be been the people that built the lighthouse that lived here. They owned all this property. All kinds of stuff. Had cattle. They were the settlers here. Looks like it's just going to be one windy day. Oh well. Clouds are rolling in and out of here fast too. Blue sky minute and clouds the next. Hughes House. Constructed what? 1898. Wow. But this was a mansion back in its day. Look at this thing. Of course it's been restored. Looks like all the State Park buildings are in the back there. This must be their home base for the park. 
and it's open. Let's go on in and check it out. Cool, look at the old lamp. Real nice volunteers here, very informative. They know a lot. All this been donated. It was restored and restaged, but this is kind of what it was back in the day. Saying if the walls could talk, look at that old ledger books and history. Cool. If you're into this kind of stuff, you could spend hours in here going through it. Got it upstairs. They had guest rooms, a chapel. Amazing. Still standing. Can you imagine uh, your house a hundred years from now, someone was going through it like a museum. <laughs> That'd be weird. Huh? Well, pretty cool. Check out the kitchen. Well, well done little uh, house, Hughes house, dates way back, workers were here, ranch hands, animals, small towns, back roads, this time we're on the coast, guess what, there's a lighthouse here, we're going to go check it out, what do you say? Blue sky and clouds and that wind. Holy moly, it is cold here. There was an old cemetery back there too you could check out. I'm no hurry to see them things though. Okay. Blue sky. Yay. Kinda. <laughs> and clouds. The other cars driving out, so am I. Kind of a one lane road. You wait, make sure no one else is coming out. <laughs> Alright, let's go see a lighthouse. Visitor parking. Yay, that's what we want. Wind is screaming. It costs two bucks to go up into the lighthouse, otherwise, it's free if you want to stay on the outside. I am definitely going to go in it. It's worth two bucks. This is their little gift shop. Let's go and get out of this wind. Check it out. Oh, 
tons of history on the wall. Pictures. Nice. All right, let's get a ticket. Get a ticket, please. For one? Yes. Off to the lighthouse we go. If we don't get blown away. I'm sure it's like this all the time out here. The lady in the gift shop said if the wind goes over 50 miles an hour, they close it down. And right now it's been clocked at 38 to 40 gusts. Hi. I don't know if anybody, was there a guy down there that stopped you and told you anything yeah. about it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's built up the, uh, the way it was originally set up. The way, yeah, yeah. The, way the house was there where those Coast Guard buildings are today. Yeah. Up we go. They got lots of volunteers. Gotta listen to their spiel. It's all good stuff. History. miles he said that guy said it puts it out there. Look at the view. Yeah. And that's some cool for school. <laughs> That's the first lighthouse I've ever been in. Hope you enjoyed it. Very well done. Used to be kerosene, now it's electric. Cape Blanco Lighthouse. Nice. It is that one lady said they've clocked winds to 120 miles an hour out here. This is way out on a peninsula. We'll put this on your bucket list. Cape Blanco Lighthouse. All right, I'm gonna get out of this wind. Head for the van. Hey, let's go find that campground.
down the one-way road we go. Go back over to the camp area, pick out a site, call it a day. Stay out of this wind. Make it right here. This fog rolls in and out. One minute it's clear blue sky, the next it's pure fog. Big old pines. We're not too far from the water. There was dumpsters. They had an RV dump, but it said closed. Okay, check in. Let's read what it says. Pick a site, fill out the ticket, give it to the host. Cool. No reservations at this one. You just first come, first serve. All right. Let's go find a site. Okay, I decided on A8. Believe it or not, I didn't want shade. I want sun. Keep me warm. <laughs> it's cold here. My goodness, this is the coldest park I've been in yet. All right, we're going to call Cape Blanco, home for the night. Back on the road again in the morning. I am leaving Blanco, Cape Blanco. The wind screamed all night long. My goodness, what a windy, chilly place. I was talking to one of the camp hosts and he goes, yeah, it's kind of like this uh, most of the time. But still a pretty, pretty place. Definitely check it out and that lighthouse. Very good. You know, uh, all these parks, Oregon, almost every state, they're always looking for camp hosts. Through the summers, you can get uh, pretty much a free place to stay. They don't really pay a wage, but you can stay at these places and uh, work a little bit and enjoy it. that lighthouse and that Hughes house was something to see. I am so glad I stopped and filmed it. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. All right, we're heading off to 101. Okay, this is 101 North. Going to go up here about 25 miles to a little town called Bandon. Bandon, Oregon. And then right past that, there's a state park called Bullard. Pretty early morning, not much traffic. few little businesses through here. Truthfully, I don't remember. I know I drove down through here. I just don't remember it. Look at the trees getting smaller, too. Oh, look at the winery. That's a cool-looking place. Welcome to Bandon, Oregon. 
Small Town USA, Back Road USA. Well, 101, kind of a back road. <laughs> the only road. What a quaint little town. You know, a lot of times I'll get on uh, Google and read uh, comments and reviews of areas where I get into them. I did drive down through here uh, a few years ago. Well, you got gas station stores. I mean, this is life. This is life in Bandon, Oregon. A lot of these uh, towns, too, they're fishing communities. A lot of them work on the docks, the fishing boats, seafood. I'm sure agriculture is good around here. Farming. Whatever else. Logging. Yeah, I bet logging, too. Alright, not too much farther. We're going to cross a big bridge. And on the other side is that Bullard State Park. Definitely want to check it out. It's supposed to be another lighthouse. Yay. Look how old the buildings are, too. They're just been here forever. History, once again, history in these small towns. Check them out if you get a chance. Right, okay, here comes the bridge. I love these old bridges. Aren't they neat to cross? Okay, we're going to make an immediate left up here. We're going to pull into another beautiful Oregon State Park named Bullard. Definitely going to check out that lighthouse. I'm pretty sure it's open to the public. Let's see, where do I turn? Right here. Campground. I'll probably uh, spend the night here after we explore. head out towards the ocean, find that lighthouse first, then work our way back. Well, we got quite a few picnic areas. There's a river right here on the left side of me. Huge day use. There's a boat ramp back we just passed it. Look at that place for horse camping. If your horse wants to go to camp, you can horse camp here. <laughs> miles out here. We're, now we've got oceans right on the right, just over those dunes. And way off to the left is that uh, river. There's a little ways out here. I bet at least three miles. There we go. There's the lighthouse. Cool. Looks like I got parking here. What do we got? One way. Looks like a big loop. Let's take the loop around. Whoa! <laughs> Some rough, big ol' holes in there. Okay. Look at the Oof. No. They're not rough. You just sink. That, that guy's loading up firewood. Driftwood. These guys must be fishermen. 
Check out the lighthouse. Look at that picture with the clouds behind it. Isn't that cool? There's a jetty off to the right. Stone jetty. Storyboard signs. There it is. Alright, well, let me go get parked and I'll hike back up here and we'll check her out. See what the lighthouse is all about. Door looked open, so I think we can get in it. I don't see a light going. I don't think this one's lit up like the other one. Look how pretty it is out here. Look, they got picnic tables. Doors open. So you can go inside. Pretty cool. Looks like a gift shop, t-shirts, more jackets, souvenirs, nice. Look at the ceiling. Okay, you can't go up top, it's all blocked off. This one doesn't work anymore anyway. But it's over a hundred years old, but built way back when. They ever have any boats come up through here? Have a good day. You too. Well, nice. You know, these old structures, hopefully they're around another hundred years. People can still see what history really was. Think of all the shipping and all the storms, everything that happened here. Sand dunes out here where they're fishing. You know it's so much warmer here. You know it's windy here. Clouds roll over, blue sky. Oregon geology. You know the ocean can't stop it. It's powerful. It's gonna create whatever it wants. Huh? But driftwood, you seen that guy picking up driftwood? You know some people make art out of driftwood. Or just use it for firewood I guess. Who knows where it came from? Anywhere in the world. Pretty cool. There's a great look. Look, there's the lighthouse. There's the jetty. Look how the jetty works. Look how calm the water is. There's the river. There's downtown Bandon right there. That's looking up towards that bridge. I guess they horseback ride. Horseback riding is huge here. This 
see it, it it was a couple miles coming in here What do you say we'll go up by the bridge and that boat launch, explore around a little bit? There isn't that many people out here. I thought there would be more. Alright, I'm going to go get parked up by the bridge. Boy, the weather, it changes by the minute. It clouds over, blue sky, clouds over. Temperature's been cool. It's been in the 60s, 50s, 60s, about every day. Nights stay about the same, though, except for uh, Cape Blanco. That was cold there. Well, nice little boat launch here. You know the tide really affects all this stuff. The tide moves up and down quite a bit. You can see the water lines on the shore, how high the tide comes up. Looks like it's low tide right now. Very peaceful here. I could easily spend time here. Very good. I'm sure the bridge, everything's old. <laughs> 80, 90, 100 years old. You can see how low the tide is. Look at the shore of the river. All the mud there. Low tide. all the trees nice and green healthy perfect day on the coast highway 101 lighthouses no mountains close by is there and old draw bridges pretty cool Bullard State Park, looking good. Just like all these Oregon State Parks. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna go back to the van. I'm gonna go find me a campsite, get parked, call today. Good morning, we're leaving Bullard's State Park. Very nice, quiet stay here. Very peaceful place. Wasn't that busy at all. Really enjoyed it. Okay, we're gonna head out here and get on 101 North. We're not going very far today, just a few miles. We're gonna head up to Coos Bay. There's a peninsula up there. There's Charleston. There's a peninsula. I'm going to stay out there at the Sunset Bay uh, Park, State Park. All right, away we go. There's a big storm system coming and going to be running into some rain here in the next day or so. It's kind of disappointing. But it's a coast, too. There's a little fog over the water. 
What a pretty drive, though. Everything's pretty in Oregon. My goodness. What a great state. I'll tell you this, uh, Coastal Run has been one for the memory books for me. I, I don't remember uh, seeing this kind of scenery in a long time. Even though I drove down here three years ago, I just don't remember all of this. Of course, then I was uh, moving. I was doing some distance. There's a little underpass. We're getting close to town, I think. Not too much farther. Big old logging places all over. They must float the logs here in that river. Cool. There's some more water. And the goal this morning, I gotta go to Walmart. I gotta really stock up. There's uh, Wells Fargo Bank here. That's where I bank. I gotta do some banking. This is the first big town I've hit since uh, I got into Oregon. Need to find a laundromat, so this morning is kind of getting stuff back together. <laughs> Quit goofing off and filming. <laughs> but guess what? I'm still going to film it. <laughs> so, alright. Here is Coos Bay, I believe. Still pretty early morning. I googled this earlier. Walmart's on the north end of town. There's other little towns connected. I don't know all their names, you know, but I know Coos Bay. <laughs> okay, it looks like 101 goes one way in two different directions about a block over it heads south we're heading north see all kinds of little businesses the water's off to the right so I think the first thing to do would be try to go find Walmart first do that because I gotta buy uh, laundry soap and everything to do laundry and then from there Go to the bank, laundromat, then we'll head out to Charleston, out to the peninsula. Sound like a plan? Everyone raise their hand. You can really smell the redwood in the air, all the wood. Must be the wood chips. You see massive piles of them everywhere. But you can really smell it. Smells good. I guess you'd get used to it if you lived here, but man, that is just very powerful. Okay, we're going to keep heading out. This is still 101. Yeah, the camera's picking it up. Look on the right-hand side. See those piles? That's all wood chips. Man, you can really smell that. <laughs> Just logging everywhere. This is a major port. I've seen some big boats parked here. Got railroad tracks. But look at all that. That's all wood chips. Just a mountain of them. Wonder what 
what's in those tanks. Big, uh, well, India Casino up here. Sign said RV parking too. Ha! Huh. I never knew there was a casino. But, that's not my stop. We're going to head on out here and find that Walmart. Look at all the logs on the right hand side there too. Wow. Major, major. They could probably get shipped all over the world, I bet. Those big barges come in. Let's see, what do we want to do here? Charleston Red... Hmm. I think I want to keep going straight. If I remember right. West. Oh boy. I think <laughs> Charleston's where I'm going to end up, but I forget. I think the Walmart was out here. Darn it. Well, we'll keep going, see what we get into here. Welcome to North Bend. I missed it. <laughs> I gotta turn around and go back. Now when we leave Coos Bay, I think this is the way we'll leave. But we gotta get turned around here. Okay, well, it's early morning. Yep, look at that, North Bend. <laughs> Oops. Hey. We'll blame it on Google Maps. Oh, look, a bridge. Yay. Well, let's cross a bridge. Hey, if we're lost, might as well cross a bridge, too. This is a big one. Look at this thing. My goodness. We are going way up here. So this is going over Coos Bay. Wow, look at that. Man, we are way up. Yeah, big boats could really go underneath here. Look at all the hoses. Looks like they're going to paint this one. But they're going to sandblast and paint. How pretty. Wow. Well, if you're going to get lost, you might as well get lost by the scene. scenic. <laughs> Alright, I'll get up here, I'll turn around. Then we get to go over the bridge again. <laughs> Too funny. You know, I kind of remember this area now. But when I drove down a few years ago, I remember that bridge. Huh. Okay, looks like there's a road up here to the left. I think I can turn around there. You know, there's a bunch of sand dunes out this way, too. All the dunes for the dune buggies. Cool. All right, let me get turned around. We'll go back the right way. I'm going to grab a quick picture of that bridge, too. That thing's huge. Okay, let's try this again. This is 101 South. <laughs> yeah, hey. You get to go over the bridge again, at least. It's absolutely amazing the amount of traffic on 101. 
continuous flow ever since I've been on, I've gotten in the state. Both directions. Always traffic, no matter what. Looks like they're working on this end. That's all steel plate above there. Look all the chains hanging. Looks like they maybe scaffolding. <laughs> Interesting. What a beautiful day to get lost. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to go back in the North Bend, then Coos Bay. And yes, I checked the map. I know which turn to make up here now. Back there I checked. <laughs> okay, let's go on in town. Alrighty, it should say, yep. See, we wanted the road going towards Charleston State Parks. And I didn't take that. We would have ended up out here anyway, because that's one of the places that Sunset Bay State Park is out here, too. That's where I'm going to stay. So, okay. Looks like we've got a little town traffic to go through. This is a good-sized town. I bet with all the logging and the shipping... They get a, it's quite a bit of business here. Okay, we're going to make it right on this street. Then up here we're going to make a left. I'll pay attention, follow the signs. Walmart's right on the way to uh, Charleston. this bend I'm just following the signs Walmart should be up here on the left hand side be sure to check out my website rvtv.tv sign up for free newsletter check out all the other stuff merch all kinds of good things on the website Alright, going to pull in here, fuel up, stock up, get chores done, then we're heading out to Charleston. And get ready for some really scenic coastline out here in Charleston Bay and Botanical Garden. How quick was that? the power of editing video <laughs> mission accomplished even got some food to eat yay what a pretty day we're heading out to Charleston Bay that all rhymes <laughs> gotta love the Oregon coast Charleston Bay is a beautiful place we're going to drive clear out in the peninsula too The highway is going to lead us right on out there. Charleston Bay, I stayed here three years ago in an RV park. Really enjoyed it. Uh, you'll see it's a fisherman's paradise. There's fishing boats galore. Plus the uh, Coast Guard's out here too. There's a slew of uh, RV parks, trailer parks, going out through here. Look at the water right there on the right. You can see the bridge up, up there a little bit. There's a jetty, 
big boats come through here too. It's all deep water channel. Right, we're here. I remember three years ago, this was a cool stop. It was real foggy, but they cooked the crab. The fishermen would come in, they cooked the crab right on the dock. And you could buy them pre-cooked right there. Like I'm gonna buy a whole crab, but I remember that. And the smells, I mean, you could just smell all the fish cooking. I mean, this is hardcore. <laughs> by the sea type living and the bridge here it'll raise up let the big boats through coast guards down here it's a real deal marina and uh, port All right before we head out to state parks let's I'll show you the marina real quick and uh, RV park I stayed at. Kind of zigzag through this neighborhood here. There's some seafood restaurants and markets. And there's a motel right there. Then the RV park up here. Camping, I don't think so. I think right there on the left, there's the park. And you had to have a motorhome or a trailer. It was okay. I remember the fog, though. You could hear the foghorn going all night. <laughs> and these buildings right here. Yep, there's the Coast Guard. Keeping the waterway safe. There's a station here. I don't see too many big boats. Well, let me, let's see, let me pull up here, I'll park a minute, we'll just take a quick walk, because I really want to get on out to the state parks. Let's take a look around here real quick. You can probably go out on a boat fishing too, I'm sure they got charters here. Day. Look at the blue sky. A little breezy, not too bad. And there's the dock, the port. All the commercial fishermen. Looks like, well, you got sailboats too, pleasure craft. Right down there, that's where they cooked the crab. Those uh, buildings right down there buy it right off the boat. A little fisherman's market there. <laughs> Alright, we're going to take the highway out on the peninsula. There's like Sunset Beach, Sunset State Park. I always get these messed up. Anyway, there's some really cool overlooks we're going to see. Botanical Garden. All kinds of cool stuff. Quite a bit of residential out here too. Houses, probably for all the dock workers. Wonder what it costs to stay here. But you better like seafood if you're gonna live in a place like this. Teasing. Look at there, Captain John's restaurant. Well, what do you say? Let's go back out to the ocean and check her out. Right, I'm fully loaded, full of fuel, supplies, food, ice, everything. Let's go play in the state parks. I drove out here three years ago, so I kind of know where I'm going. 
Well, out on the peninsula, I did not stay out here. So, But it's extremely pretty. You're going to see some really good views of the ocean and the cliffs. Hopefully a seal, too. This park up there on the right, this is a county park. Blanchard or something like that. And that goes down to the water. Okay, the sign says Sunset Bay State Park. Looks like they're putting in speed bumps. We got some road construction. Yep, Sunset Bay. There's a sign for it. And they got all this beach access closed off here. Probably from the road construction. It's all roped off. There's the ocean right there on the right. Okay, anyway, it doesn't matter. We're going to go down to the very end of this road. Botanical Garden too. I'll stop at that on the way back. Extremely congested road. I mean, this is a weekday. You come out here in the weekend, you're really going to get caught up. But it's worth it. Look how pretty. We're almost there. I know you can't see it with the camera, but the ocean's right off to the right. It goes drop straight down. We're way up on a cliff. All these out here are day use only. There's no overnight camping. The only camping is back at uh, Sunset Bay where I'm going to stay tonight. Hey, we made it. Here we go. This is the very end of the road. You can't go any farther up here. This circles around. There's hiking trails, day use, picnic area. This is just a pretty, pretty place. called Cape Arago State Park Day Use Area. Alrighty, I'm going to get parked, switch cameras, and we'll go walk around. There's hiking trails. Uh, hopefully we'll see a sea lion or two down there. You can go along the cliffs a little. You'll see it. You're going to see how fast it drops off up here. <laughs> hey, warning. Don't feed them. I'm not going to marine area. Well preserved. Nice. Don't fall off the cliff either. This is nice. They even took the time to put asphalt all the way back in here on this path. Well, I can really hear the sea lions. It got cold here in a hurry. That wind is cutting right through me. Woof. <laughs> what a view. <laughs> OK, 
get a, quite a view in the backpack carrier thing. All right, let's check out the sea lions. This ought to be fun. You can really hear them now. Wow, what a nice overlook. All right, here's your zen moment. about frozen that was cool though did you see all them guys what a beautiful place beautiful beautiful like a low inlet bay there then they all hang they all sun themselves See the picnic table down on the right? You can just sit there if you can stay warm enough. Man, it's cold here right now. All right, there's a little outlook post on the other side. We'll hike up there. Some whale watching here. So probably what that girl's doing there, looking for the whales. But you'll see how beautiful it is. Look over the cliff. That is a long ways down there. Absolutely beautiful. Here's a little memorial sign. Cape Arago State Park. Yeah. Alrighty, that's looking down the coast. What a pretty place. Okay, well I think I'm going to head up to that botanical garden. We'll stop there. I didn't do that last time. Be good to see. It's not very far, just a mile or so down the road. Oregon Coast Finest. Just beautiful. Stop and check this stuff out. What an epic few days coming up this far along the Oregon coast, Pacific Ocean. And guess what? It ain't over. There's a storm front coming in, but we're going to continue all the way up to the Astoria Bridge on the Columbia River on this journey. All right, we're gonna leave uh, Cape Arago uh, State Park. One of those sea lions, cool.
to hear them that far away over the ocean noise. You know they're noisy if you got closer. <laughs> okay, just a couple miles down the road will be the Botanical Garden. I didn't go there last time, so I thought we'd check it out on this trip. Parking is kind of limited, so on the weekends uh, I've always heard that uh, it's really difficult to get in here. Because the day use areas are kind of small. I mean, they are state parks, but but you have several of them. If you can't make it into one, hopefully you can get into another one. Alright, you can see that blue water. There's the mighty Pacific Ocean. Love it. Okay, just a couple miles down the road. Isn't this tree lined road just manicured, all the hedges trimmed? And <laughs> Ooh, up here on the left, there's another uh, viewpoint. You can actually see the sea lions from there. I stopped there three years ago, but not near as good of a view as we got off that pathway. Going all the way up there to Cape uh, Arago. Uh, looks like got some workers up here. Weed eaters, that's how they keep this road looking so good. That's a continuous job. Stuff goes grows quick along the ocean. should be up here on the left hand side. Here it is. Shore Acres. That's the name of it. Shore Acres State Park Day Use. And this one you gotta pay a fee. I think it's five bucks. We'll find out down here. A lot of people out enjoying these beautiful places. Of course, it's June in Oregon. Summertime has started. dollars for all day pass I guess that ain't too bad all right we'll go down here get parked get out and check out their botanical garden well doesn't look too busy it looks like a good place right here Let's go check out the view first. Much warmer here. That sun feels good. You can hear all the birdies up in the trees chirping. They're happy. Who wouldn't be happy right here on the Oregon coast? Right on the Pacific Ocean. big old sign over there warning you can fall off look at the brick wall this must be like a cliff here 
the little building you can go in there, probably in bad weather. Oh, cool. Isn't that just stunning? Look at that. There's your coastline. And look at the power of the ocean. Listen to that water crash on those rocks. color of the rock. This is a photographer's dream here. Look at this. <laughs> you know, even, we haven't even seen the garden yet, but this is well worth the find out. Look at that. Look at the beauty of it. There's Mother Nature's artwork right there. Alright, well let's go find those uh, botanical gardens real quick. Okay, you hike through the woods here. It's supposed to be a little gift shop. Well, very pretty. What does the sign say? Shoreker State Park. Observatory. That building back there was an observatory. Aha. See, it pays to read the signs. They got the paths lighted. And what's the sign? Here we go. There's the gate. Let's go on in and check it out. Shoreacres Botanical Garden. Talk about a flower garden. My goodness. Water fountains. This place is manicured. If you're into flowers, this is one stop for you. People just wandering around, but they're really into plants. I like RVs. <laughs> okay, well, here's the botanical garden at Shore Acres State Park in Oregon. Pretty place. Glad I stopped. Alright, we'll go out this 
direction. That building there is a gift shop. Looks like a little visitor center gift shop. A couple wheelchairs if you need them. Very well done. Brochures. Look at that entryway. I think I came in the back way. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Well, after I camp down at that Sunset Bay tonight, I'm probably just going to go a little ways up the coast and uh, pull off the road for a day or two until that storm passes. Thank you for watching the Once in a Lifetime series, especially this one right here. This one's been very special to me. Making this trip up the Oregon coast has always been a great memory of mine. And guess what? It's not over. This is only part one. We're going to have a part two that finishes the Oregon coast drive. Probably will come out in about four or five weeks. So make sure you stay tuned and check for that once in a lifetime series video and that'll be from Coos Bay all the way up to the Astoria Bridge. Thanks for watching. Take care all.